All right, welcome back, everybody, to the third and I certainly hope final part of uh, Alexios Caminos. Caminos, whatever. Okay, yeah, they do have a castle. And we just get more of that cash money. Oh, yeah, the Normans. Being all Normany. Wait, are those keeps? <laughs> Tatars don't get keeps. These keeps are fake. No Central Asian Civ gets keeps. And by none, I mean either. <laughs> Oh, are you seriously going to micro your step lancers like this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, we clean up all you guys. Get some more dromons. Yep. This way. Guess we can get Greek fire for our uh, drummons. Careful. And is it time to go for some katas? Scandal. A preacher has been spreading heresies in the countryside, reducing your legitimacy by ten points. Oh, we're dropping down to sixty-four. Next year, we'll get Logistica. And then we'll have uh, been done with Anatolia. Or maybe I can sneak in some... Nope. No, I can't. Take out you plebs. There's flaming projectiles. All right, let's start looking over here to the the west. Anyway, the Seljuks just don't have anything close to our uh, level of tech. Get over this way. I don't think there's going to be anything over there. The Turks are retreating. Yeah. We have avenged our defeat at Manzikert. Yeah, buddy. Get a couple more transports just to be on the safe side. <laughs> just send one more galley deal with this stupid Kipchak that's been attacking us for 20 years. Still, I definitely remember Blue attacking us at some point.
They have like a bunch of cataphracts and stuff. For too long, we have been divided from our brothers in the west. Perhaps by sending a delegation to the patriarch in Rome, we can reconcile our faith. Okay. We will do that. Logistica. And right here are the normies. This army is very slowly making their way to the shoreline. There's Rome. There we got elite sergeants. Guess we can pick up you guys over here. This does feel like another one of those scenarios, though, that's like, once you reach a certain level, everything becomes just very easy. I think the difference here is Imperial Age. Like, once you get those Imperial Age upgrades, everything is just kind of falling into place. Seriously? No, no, you can get on here. Land here in southern Italy. Have you guys sail around this way? I think we can get Bari, if I recall correctly. Now that I think about it, this may end up being a very short video, but... It's hard to tell with these things, right? I want to keep the videos under an hour. If I can get them in like the 40 to 50 minute range, that would be best. Let's just double check, make sure nothing's over here. Yeah, I think this is Bari. Oh, they landed me. I mean, like, yeah, these guys only have castle age upgrades, except they have somehow Cavalier with 160 HP. Anyway, this army should hopefully be enough to destroy everything. All the jukes. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's Robert Giscard. Trying to get those extra conversions because why not?
see if there's uh, some dudes here I can go get. Plenty of tax revenue. Okay, get that. And then once we get Bari, we'll have a base of operations here in Italy. Well, I guess the guy had a Fraxer helping out over here. Send the delegation to Rome. I think there are some cavalier left over here. Oh, nope. We got Bari. It is nice to have all these campaign callbacks. What? I have four monks here. Is four monks too many? Is that an aggressive application? It is. Our reconciliation, the Pope pledges us crusaders from the Frankish and German lands. Scandal. <gasps> there have been rumors that your wife is sleeping with a prominent strategist. Well, to be fair, that's exactly what we did. The scandal has damaged your legitimacy by ten points. I mean, that that is exactly uh, what she was doing with us when we were a prominent strategos. <laughs> Can't really say this is unexpected. Anyway, I guess this is about to be it. I I definitely remember Blue attacking us with like a, an enormous army of cataphracts and stuff. But yeah, I mean we've basically done everything. Okay, just a couple more buildings. Get more crusaders. And once the barracks and stable are down, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. We <laughs> should be good. Ah, uh, rage! What on earth? Despite my shrewd management of your legitimacy, it seems some ambitious generals desire your throne for their own selfish ends. Rebellion is in the works. I can feel it. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. I don't know if this is only triggered by us, like basically defeating the Normans. Or if there's some other trigger, I'm I just not noticing. Anyway. It's time. We're done messing around. Um, let's just, I don't know, I guess, have you guys patrol over there? Let's 
Bring you guys back home. just debated us. You can research Bombard Tower, but you can't make Bombard Towers. Okay, that's just a mistake. Alright, alright. We'll just add more keeps. Okay. Oh, there they are. A pretender claiming to be a long deposed emperor has appeared. Many of the dissatisfied nobles and soldiers back his claims. We have a civil Yeah, this is what I remember. Well, the castle should take care of all of this. I mean, this isn't really much of an attack, is it? Oh, those are even elite cataphracts. Well, this is a kill zone. Oh, they're getting stuck. Rip Areno. Okay, maybe... Oh, they have a stable here. I missed it. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments when Blue attacked you. But this isn't exactly tough to stop, is it? Oh, wait a minute! Oh, no. Okay. Roman knights are no match for our disciplined Roman soldiers. We have driven them from Italy. Emperor Alexius. I must admit that I had my own doubts about you, but you have to be a wise and skilled leader. Not too sure how you guys got in. Enemies ...and restored us to greatness. Alright, I know we've won right now, but I'll just kill off the rest of these guys, because we can. I think one of my halves accidentally opened the gate or something. Not a big deal. Then those armies have been crushed, and he has been captured and blinded. You rule. We win by exactly 1100. The throne is now secure. Huzzah! The Roman Empire had seemingly breathed its last. Devastated by Turks and Normans. But amidst this darkness, Rome's brightest sun rose and brought a new dawn to the Empire. After overthrowing the ineffective Nikephoros, Alexios began a series of reforms and conquests that restored the Empire to greatness. Over a reign of 37 years, he proved to be among the Empire's greatest rulers. Without Alexios Komnenos, the Empire would not have survived. Very good. Yeah, I, I do like this scenario. It's, it's a solid one. That's a pretty good KD. Yeah, not going to complain about that. Whoa, what were the peasants doing? Making bank, that's what. They weren't much of peasants. Anyway, we did basically explore the entire map, so... How many cities are there for you to get taxes from? 
Oh, I guess we didn't take out these guys over here, but that doesn't really matter. Um, there is Thessaloniki. I forget the name of this town in Greece. Dyrrhachium. So there are three in mainland, you know, southwestern Europe. There's Bari in Italy. And then there's Crete, Cyprus, Antioch, Edessa, Smyrna. So there's like, what, 10 or so? Well, guys, that is going to be it for Caminos 1081. Next up is Steven 1135. See you guys next time for that.